Please give me a message for the Tauruses that are meant to watch this. Wow. We got the Emperor. Hi, tall, black, and beautiful. You're a Libra. Hey, fellow Libras. Yeah, I don't like doing myself first, but I'll do Libra second since you're uh, in here watching. So we got the Emperor card starting off for Taurus when it comes to finances. That's a very good card to get. That represents, the Emperor represents um, stability to me. You also could have Taurus in your sun, moon rising, or Venus. Okay, so whichever one uh, applies to you. We got the King of Swords as well. Um, you may have the gift of gab when it comes to negotiating contracts and things of that nature, or you may uh, find some communications going to be coming in when it comes to your finances and your stability. And it looks like it's going to be good communication. Okay. But we also have the two of swords. This card has been coming out heavy lately. It's just been um, letting us know that although it may seem like we are not on the right path or that we are uh, basically going into financial ruin. You may feel like you're going into financial ruin, but your guides are hiding things from you. They are not, and this is so annoying, I know, because it's, it's annoying to me, but they're not telling you how you're going to get to this emperor status. You're going to go from the king of swords. I just learned this, that the emperor is higher than the kings because I was watching the empress on Netflix. So you're going from a king of swords to an emperor, okay? Emperor is all four kings together. That's why people say that because the emperor in real life is higher ranking than kings are. You have the uh, nine of swords. So you all have been worried about money, but y'all are Tauruses. So it's almost effortless for y'all. If y'all really put your mind to it, Money comes to y'all easily. Okay, we got the nine of cups. Great cards to get. You will be fulfilled. You will you will have more than enough. Okay. This card represents having more than enough. Okay. And then we got the hierophant on the bottom. That is your card. That's a Taurus card. So it is confirming, okay, that this message is for you. Let's use the show me the money oracle to see what else is coming up when it comes to your finances. We have make room for abundance. What did I just say? I just said you're going to have more than enough, way more than you even asked for. So you're going to have to make room because you have so much coming in. I want to be a Taurus today. I don't have Taurus placements like that in my chart, but I want to be a Taurus. <laughs> Can I be an honorary Taurus today? That was my phone going off. We're going to take the phone notifications as confirmations, okay? Because it's always interrupting my readings. Um, we have Aries, protective, proactive leader. And the funny thing is this emperor card does represent Aries. So you all could have Aries in your birth chart. Um, but... This also represents being a proactive leader, okay? Uh, being a trendsetter, okay? Um, knowing what your worth is. Taurus people know what their worth is too. Um, being authoritative. So you all may be put in a position of authority. We have king and emperor here. So you all may be um, your own boss. Maybe you have your own business or you may be like a high ranking manager or you may be receiving a promotion to a higher uh, position. We have lack of work-life balance, though. So you may be too focused on money um, to the point where maybe your family is suffering. Maybe you're not spending enough time with your family, your kids, your spouse, your significant other, um, your friends. Okay, so you are going to need to balance out your work with um, fun time, family times. Money is important. <laughs> Why we get the greed card? I'm done. Because guess what? The nine of cups can represent greed too. Okay. I'm not saying y'all greedy, but I'm saying like you have more than enough. You have more than enough so you can take a break. You can take a break. It's okay. Okay. The money's still going to be there tomorrow. We have strings attached. Okay. So, um... I feel like y'all the ones, <laughs> and this is my personal bias from dealing with Taurus. I feel like y'all the ones that be offering people money 
and like help financially and y'all be having conditions and strings attached but hey y'all could be um signing a new contract soon or something like that so congratulations it seems like you're about to be getting some new position some new contract surplus of resources like i said can i be an honorary tourist today surplus means more than enough we got nine of cups more than enough we got make room for abundance more than enough i want to be a Taurus today i need to tap into some tour i need to make me a Taurus candle today that's what i need to do because <laughs> i'm trying to be like y'all we have liability okay so make sure if you are signing a new contract or something you're paying attention to the verbiage the wording okay because with the string attached card that's telling me that you want to pay attention to see what all the conditions are and whatever this new adventure new venture new contract that you're going to take on um pay attention okay so you don't want something to come back on you later i don't know why i'm thinking about nick cannon and wild and out how we thought he owned wild and out but he really like when he got in trouble like we realized he didn't <laughs> okay so make sure you have full ownership if you are signing a contract or something make sure you have like the authority and the power over whatever you're doing and you're not just like some you know how like the king and queens of england like today they just say they're like figureheads they don't really have like a whole lot of power you don't want to just be the face of something make sure you actually have power as well so uh look over those contracts Give me a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to their finances. Okay, we have coffin and courtship. So you all may have ended a relationship um, recently or your relationship may be in danger of ending if you're spending too much time working and not enough time nurturing your relationship. Also, this could be a business partnership that is ending as well or maybe you're leaving a job or something like that. Take what apply, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? We got to keep saying that over and over again because people will get in the comments like, that doesn't apply to me. Well, it's not a personal reading. It is a collective reading, <laughs> okay? Everything ain't going to apply to you. If you want everything to apply to you, then you need to get a personal private reading, okay? Um, anything else for Taurus before we move on to the next sign? I didn't even use the rest of the oracles, but... Yeah, we have bad health. What did I say? I felt the need to bring Archangel Raphael's candle out today. And he's the angel over healing and health. If you focus too much on work, okay, and you don't spend time taking care of yourself, that's not going to end well for you. Okay? You don't want to have to spend that hard-earned money you earned uh, on medical bills <laughs> and hospital bills. We also have the number four here, and we have the number 31 Three plus one equals four. So the number four may be important. You may have been seeing 44 or 444 recently. We have expectation. Some of y'all have some relationships that are suffering. This person is looking like they're waiting at the window for somebody that's never about to show up. Even though the card... So it's like they expect you not to show up your family, your friends, you can, you can show up for them financially, but not as far as energetic wise, spending time with them. Okay. So you do need to balance your work life and message. Like I said earlier, you all may be getting some incoming information about a new job, contract promotion, something like that. Let's get one card from the spell casting Oracle. I think that's what this calls. And then we'll move to the next sign. Closure. Yeah. Something is ending. Some business, some relationship is ending and maybe this ending is going to be a new beginning for you financially. So maybe that's how you're calling in this new abundance. Okay, so that's what I have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's move.